Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am come back with a new video. Today we will talk about two different queries. First query is how to select numerical method in Silvico TK tool code. And the second question is what do you mean by the interface charges? In which I will explain how to introduce interface charges in Silvico code. Uh, what is the benefit of uh, introducing interface charges or we can say that in which application we are using these interface charges i will explain my dear friends please like subscribe and share my channel it would be great motivation for me you can uh, support me by just liking my video please click on the like button thank you so much let's start how to select numerical method in Silvico TK2. Method. There are various numerical method to calculate solutions to semiconductor device problem. There are three types of solution techniques used in the Silvico tool. Mostly three method we are using in the Silvico TK tool. First method is Gumail method, second is Newton and the third one is Block. Gumail method is also called as decoupled solution. Newton method is apply where fully coupled solution is required and the block method for both coupled and decoupled algorithm. The Gumail method the Gumail method solves for each unknown by keeping all other unknown constant. At a time it will take one unknown and assume other unknown to a constant value. This process is repeated until there is a stable solution. It will continue until you find a stable solution of your problem. Next is Newton method. The Newton method solves all unknowns simultaneously. The Newton method is different from the Gumail method. In the Newton method, we can take all the unknown simultaneously to solve the equation. Next is the block method. The block method solves some equation with the Gumail method and the sum equation with the Newton method. The Gumail method is used for a system of equation that are weakly coupled and there is a linear convergence. Mostly we are using the Gumail method in the big, when we are using the BQP model or we can say that in the nanowire FET device. The Newton method is used when equation are strongly coupled and there is a quadratic convergence. When we are using the Poisson equation to solve the problem, then we will use uh, the Newton method to solve the quadratic equation. The purpose of the block method. The block method is useful when the latest heating and energy balance equation are included. When we introduce the latest temperature in your device, when you count this energy balance, then you can prefer block method. There are three types of solution technique. Gumail solution technique, Newton solution technique and the block solution technique. Numerical methods are given in the method statement of the input file. If you mention all the three solution technique in the method statement, then it can choose one by one to solve the quadratic equation or uh, to find out the solution. If more than one method is specified in the same method statement, each solution method will be applied in succession until convergence is obtained. The order that the solution methods will be applied in Gumail, then Block, then Newton. If you had mentioned all the method solution, then it will first prefer Gumail to solve the equation, after that Block method and at last Newton method is used to solve the equation. If no solution methods are specified Newton is applied by default. If you did not mention any solution technique in the code, then it will automatically choose Newton method to solve the co corresponding equation. Uh, move to the second question. Next, uh, what do you mean by interface charges? How you can apply interface charges in your uh, device? Or what is the purpose of applying interface charges to the device? The interface statement is used to define the interface charge density and surface recombination velocity at interface between semiconductor and insulator. 
for example i am using interface qf 3e10 per centimeter square the statement specify that all the interface between semiconductor and insulator have a fixed charge density of 3e10 per centimeter square if you did not mention the positional parameter then it will it will automatically take all the reason of si sio2 interface and assuming charge density is equal to 3e10 in many cases the interface of interest is restricted to a specific reason this can be done by accomplished by with the positional parameter this can be accomplished with the positional parameter x minimum x maximum y minimum and y maximum y maximum parameters on the interface statement these parameter define a rectangle where the interface property apply the semiconductor or insulator boundaries are determined with the interface statement the syntax is as follow interface you have to mention the charge density next positional parameter the following example show the use of the interface statement interface i have defined the positional parameter x minimum minus 4 x maximum 4 y minimum minus 0.5 y maximum 4 with the charge density it is a rectangular coordinate x minimum x maximum y minimum and y maximum with the charge density of 1 e 10 s dot n equal to 1 e 4 and s dot p is equal to 1 e 4 the maximum and minimum values determine the boundaries the qf value specify the fixed charge density per centimeter square the s dot n value specify the electron surface recombination velocity and s dot p is similar to sn but for holes we are using interface statement in many application of mosfet and tfet such as biosensor in the interface statement you have to mention the charge density at a particular rectangular coordinate or you can also define the surface recombination velocity for electron or holes or for both with the help of s dot n and s dot p command uh, my dear friend this is end for today thanks for watching